My friend Laura, who's a designer and an artist, is coming over with a couple other friends, and we're all gonna have a painting party. And I'm getting ready by making some quiche. Normally a big dish, but I'm making bite-sized portions. It's a perfect party snack to have. You can serve it hot right out of the oven. It can be just sort of warm, even cold. It's delicious either way. We're just gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil. Turn it on low. We're gonna take our onion, just a small onion or half of a large one. Just let them cook until they're nice and soft and golden. Yum. They're gonna add such a juicy, wonderful, sweet oniony flavor to this. And let's just put a little pinch of salt in there. So we're gonna mix up our quiche filling in a measuring cup. The reason we wanna do this is it makes it easier just to pour right into our little quiche pan. We're gonna take half and half, about three quarters of a cup. Next, we're gonna do one egg and one more yolk, just the yolk, because it'll make it even richer and creamier and tastier. You just crack the egg open and you toss that little yellow jewel back and forth. This also makes me feel very chefy. The reason I love quiche so much is it makes me feel fancy. So we're just gonna add a little salt, a little pepper, and a little cayenne, just to give it a pop. Gonna whisk it up. The last thing we're gonna add to this is just a couple tablespoons of chopped chives. We're just gonna add like a freshness. It's really, really nice. Let's do the ham. This is just a thick cut deli ham. Cut it up as small as you can get it, because these quiches are really tiny little bites. Onions are looking good. Let them cook a little bit more. Let's do the crust. As a hostess, you wanna try to spend as little time as possible in the kitchen so you can really enjoy your guests. Refrigerated pie crust will help you do that and taste delicious. Take a little cookie cutter, cut out your rounds, and then before we put them in the quiche pan, we're gonna spray that quiche pan with a little canola oil so we make sure they just fly out when they're ready. Almost done here. So you can see the onions, they're nice and brown and golden and caramelized. So put a little spoon of onion in the bottom of each okay. one. They're gonna add such a juicy, wonderful, sweet oniony flavor to this. I'm gonna put a little tiny ham in the bottom and then we're gonna pour the mixture on top. You got a little herb, you got a little egg. And now we're going to pour, after we whisk it a bit, little egg mixture. We're gonna pour just about three quarters of the way the good thing about quiche, doesn't have to be perfect. Once you pop them out, you won't see all the sloppiness that I created here. Okay, that's pretty good. That looks great. So I'm gonna carry this. Do you wanna just open the oven for me? Sure. There we go, slowly in so it doesn't spill. That's gonna be in there at 375 for about 20 minutes. Voila, we have quiche, people. Oh, yes.